And hey, well, this is Francisco from One Sure Mobile Trends, and this is going to be the channel where we're going to provide you with all of the problem solving tips that you need in order to resolve all of your mobile related issues. And today, I'm going to be telling you about four different ways of transferring your contacts from one Android phone to another. So just make sure that to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our important tutorials just like this one. So let's go ahead and begin. So let me guess, you ended up switching to a new phone, and now you're trying to figure out an easy way of transferring all of your data, considering that usually, like when you try to do it manually, it ends up being pretty difficult. Especially when it comes to essential data, like your contacts, for example. It can definitely be a very time-consuming experience, especially if you're doing it manually. And then here, we've actually got a few solutions for transferring your contacts in very little time. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Our four methods of transferring data between Android phones are going to be one, uh, for using our mobile trans software to make the easiest transfer. And the other one is just going to be for using Google to back up your contact. And another uh, through direct SIM transfer and another through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi transfers. And all of these options are going to be incredibly easy. So let's go ahead and dive into method number one. And okay then, so let us go ahead and get started with method number one. And this method, as I mentioned earlier, is going to revolve around us using the mobile trans software. And we're going to be leaving links to mobile trans as per usual down in the description. Do make sure that you download that in order to make sure to be able to follow along. And with that said, let's go ahead and move forward. So the first thing that we have to do when transferring data and using mobile trans is that we have to go ahead and click on phone transfer over here and then click on transfer. And then it's going to try to load up both of your devices and we're going to plug in both of our Android phones. And as you can see here, I have a Google Pixel 4 and the Galaxy J3 Prime. However, I want to upgrade from the Galaxy J3 Prime to the Google Pixel 4. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click on flip you know, to make sure that the data from the J3 Prime is what's getting transferred over to the newer Google Pixel 4. And now that everything has been read successfully, all that I have to do is just go ahead and choose what exactly I would like to transfer over. And in this case, I really just want to transfer over some, some pretty minor stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and just move over on my photos, for example, and things like that. However, if you wanted to move everything else over, like contacts and text messages, call logs, and all of that stuff, all that you have to do is check any of these boxes, depending on what it is that you would like to transfer over. And once you've chosen what you want, all that you have to do is go ahead and click on start. And then once you're done, you're going to get this message here and it's going to say, for example, your Google Pixel 4 restore has been completed. Nothing on your phone has been deleted on a new one, for instance, however, and when you check back on your Pixel 4, you're going to see that, that the photos that you transferred over are all going to be readily available to you there. And if you transferred over any contacts or anything like that, you're going to see that on your phone as well. And that essentially marks the end to method number one and the safest and most secure way of doing it. And now let us go ahead and move forward with method number two. And the method number two is going to revolve around us using a Google account to move our contacts over by first making a backup. And if you haven't already, then first add a Google account and go ahead and sign into your Gmail account to add it in. Now, to sync all of your contacts from our current phone with our Gmail, go to Settings, Accounts, Google, and then Enable Sync Now. And then afterwards, go to your new Android phone to add the same Google account and select your Settings, Accounts, Google, and then select Contacts, and from the Google Backups list. And afterwards, I just go ahead and click on Sync Now. And then from there, all of your contacts are going to be synced redownloaded back to your new Android phone. And that is going to mark the end of method number two. And now for method number three, we're going to transfer our contacts by importing our contacts directly from the SIM card. That essentially just means that we're going to copy the contacts over to our SIM card and then export them over to our new phone after just inserting the SIM card, of course. And to do this, you first have to go on your current phone and then click on contacts and tap on menu and then select manage contacts and from the options I just go ahead and tap on import slash export contacts and then tap on export contacts and select your sim card as the source and when the process is finally done go ahead and remove the sim card and insert it into the new phone and then open contacts on the new one menu manage contacts import and export contacts and select import from sim card after it's all done 
your contacts will be transferred over successfully. And now we're ready to move on to method number four, which is going to be our final method and still one of the easier ones without a doubt. All of these have been incredibly simple so far, right? And now for our last method, we can do a direct contacts transfer from one Android phone to another by just using Bluetooth. And the solution is incredibly simple as all you have to do is go ahead and connect uh, both devices via Bluetooth. And just go onto your current phone and then go ahead and tap on contacts and the menu and then go ahead and click on share. Though these initial steps may vary depending on which Android device you're using. However, let's go ahead and tap on import and export and then go ahead and tap on share name card and then selecting all of the contacts that you want to transfer over. And if you end up wanting to transfer all of them over, all that you have to do is go ahead and click on select all and this is going to open your sharing options. And then from here, just go ahead and select Bluetooth and you will be prompted to enable Bluetooth if you haven't already. And again, just make sure that you've already done so on both phones and then allow Bluetooth to go ahead and scan for nearby Bluetooth devices and select the new phone when it pops up. And when they're finally successfully paired, your contacts will immediately begin transferring. And then once that's all done, you're pretty much good to go from there. And that marks the end of method number four, which was our last method. And those have been four ways of transferring your contacts from Android to Android. And so go ahead and tell me in the comments about which method you ended up preferring the most and even leave a couple of questions below regarding any of these methods. We will make sure to answer any of your inquiries. And you already know the usual. Just leave a like if you liked it and share it with others if you found it useful. And with that said, I will be seeing you all on the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.